Thunderdome boxing talk. All right, no breaking news here. This is just, you know, what is going on? We thought 2015 was going to be a great year. And then, it, it like, even though there's a great fight tonight, Lotto Stavern, you know, we should just let all this shit go for the weekend and just, you know, enjoy a good, a good night of fights, you know. But it's kind of hard to when the two biggest fights that we were kind, you know, we were pretty, we pro, were pretty much promised uh, Canelo Cotto. You know, we weren't, it wasn't like, you know, I promise you, but like I said in a previous vid, uh, Oscar said this is going to be the easiest fight he's ever made. You know, he said that, so that was pretty much saying, oh, you're getting this fight. And now we're not. You know, and like I said, why wouldn't we, right? Why wouldn't Cotto take that fight? There's no other money fight out there except Floyd. And then that puts a Floyd Pacquiao in jeopardy. And then we're hearing, you know, HBO and Showtime are having their little negotiations. And we were thinking, you know, even being told that once they ironed out all their details, the Pacquiao Mayweather shit would be signed and announced, but now we hear from Steve Espinosa, mind you, the dude's a fucking bullshitter, he's always putting out bullshit information, I don't know if he has like a hidden agenda behind all his little tweets and shit, but he's, he's usually just talking nonsense, um, so it's hard to take his word, I never take his word until it's confirmed, and you rarely ever get shit like this confirmed from somebody else that Steve says about uh, HBO and Showtime not being able to agree on the fucking rebroadcast of the fight. Like, they're gonna let the rebroadcasting rights uh, really break a fight when, you know, no, they won't, number one, there's way too much money involved, uh... Showtime wants the winner of the fight to have, you know, that channel to have rebroadcasting rights, just like the Lennox Lewis, uh, Mike Tyson fight. And HBO wants both networks to have rebroadcasting fights. And that's because Floyd is the favorite. Um, so HBO, you know, they're a little worried they might get fucked because last time their guy was on, Lennox Lewis was on HBO, so they got, they had that winner takes it, they agreed to it then when Lennox was the favorite, but there's no way in hell that that would stop the fight, they would immediately figure something else out, you know, um, like, you know, if they, if HBO didn't want to agree to that, which they would, number one, they, they would agree to that, so it's kind of hard to believe, uh, Steve Espinoza, you know, until you hear it from somebody else, even though Steve's the head of Showtime Sports over there, he's a bullshitter, okay? And we all know Les Moonves is his fucking boss. You know damn well, and you know Moonves does not like Espinosa. Like, they're not buddy-buddy, all right? Uh, Espinosa even admitted he's pretty much been out of the loop since Moonves jumped into this. This ain't even Moonves' duties, all right? This is Espinosa's duty, and this is why you can pretty much guarantee, like, uh, if this fight falls through, Espinosa's canned, and if it happens, Espinosa's gonna get canned down the road after it. No, like, either way, he's pretty much screwed uh, for a Showtime job, anyway. Um, unless he turns these ratings around something drastically in 2015, which I don't see, because all the big fights are already put on NBC for the first quarter, so Showtime ain't getting shit but garbage, alright, um, what are they gonna get, you know, one or two good fights, you know, they got Wilder, Stavern, what else is coming down the pipeline, um, you know, so I, I don't think, you know, that would really, I can't, that's why Espinosa's just such a bullshitter. You can't believe a fucking word he says. And then when he's saying that that would crash the deal who gets rebroadcasting rights, no, that's fucking bullshit. That's bullshit, okay? Uh, they might, HBO might have an issue with it because, you know, they want some money on another another part of the contract, you know, to, to favor them. But they're not going to... 
they're not going to stop the fight because of that. I mean, come on, they're going to get too much money. There's no way they're going to be like, oh, yeah, just because we can't get some more money, we're not going to do it. No. There's too much money already on the table guaranteed for them. Why would they say, no, we'll pass on that, you know, hundreds of millions over here. And just because we can't get an extra, you know, 20 mil over here, nah. I mean, come on. It's not the, it's not how it's going to work. You know, so that's just bullshit. And when you hear, and it, like, I'll call that flat out an excuse, okay, for the fight not to happen. When you hear something like that sent out from Espinosa, who's fucking Heyman's bitch boy, and everyone knows it, okay, uh, Espinosa just is, Heyman just tells Espinosa, put this fight on, and Espinosa does it. Espinosa's job is to, you know, take, be like, all right, well, what fights do you want to, me to broadcast? He looks at him and says, you know what, these ain't competitive fights, we're not going to get ratings, I can't put this on, get better opponents. But he don't do that, okay? Hey, missus, put these fights on? He goes, yeah, no problem. And that's why they got, you know, HBO smashed them in ratings. You know, Showtime didn't have one card in the top 10, and they only had one in the top 15 in 2014. Okay, so what would you uh, fire the guy who had your ratings completely in the toilet and was losing money? For your company? Yeah, you would. Okay, everybody would fire Espinosa, and that's why he's going to get canned, regardless of what happens, okay? The fight getting made. And now, when you hear shit like Cotto and Canelo all of a sudden is falling through, you know, excuses are getting thrown out there the same fucking weekend uh, about HBO and Showtime not being able to make the fight. And we know, you know, at... Uh, Espinoza, or we know Moonves anyway, uh, Moonves, Aram, they came to an agreement. They're cool. All right, so you got to realize Showtime, the real head of Showtime, and Aram and Pacquiao, they're all cool. It's just the Heyman circle that's fucking with this. Okay, and you can say, well, HBO could just agree to it. How do you don't know that they didn't. Okay, that's the thing. Like, until you hear someone over from HBO, uh, if they admit it, then, boom, you can be like, yeah, you know. Uh, but I don't think that's the case. I just really can't believe that's the case. You know, that might be an issue. An issue, okay, that can be worked out and would be worked out and, you know, will be worked out if Floyd will take the fight. Um, but... Will Floyd take the fight? You know, there's no way that issue's stopping the fight. So that's just, you can throw that shit right out the window. I'm telling you right now, uh, that shit just is, is nothing. HBO would still go through with it if Showtime was like, "Well, that's the deal. We'll take it or leave it." They're taking it, okay? Um, you know, but when you hear shit like Cotto and Canelo falling through, the HBO Showtime excuses, uh, nothing from Floyd, uh, Floyd's side about the fight. You know, we know Pacquiao, Aaron Moonves, they've all reached agreements. They're all cool. And then, what's going on, you know? I, 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 just, I just feel boxing fans are going to get totally fucked in 2015. Totally fucked. You know, had our hopes. They dangled, dangled two mega fights right in our faces. And it's a poof, poof. You know, nope, not happening. You know, if that doesn't happen, I mean, come on, man. This is... Boxing fans, we get fucked over constantly. Constantly. You know, this is just another case. And you want to screw us over, like, you know, uh, on some decisions, on a sh some shitty matchups for too long, a couple months of just shit fights. You know, we, we live with that. Okay? We live with that every year. You know, but, you know, that's just come back to boxing is all about. Just stop it. You know, just, just please, man. Like, why do we, the, why does boxing have to be just so much different than every sport when, you know, if they, if it could just get organized, you know, and have just one fucking sanctioning body governing it all that is, you know, like held uh, responsible for its actions, you know, and wants to uh, build the sport. You know, the sport's lagging behind the NFL and the NBA and NASCAR and fucking soccer, everything, okay? 
because of how much bullshit is involved in the sport. You know, it's it's hard to keep fans when you just keep, you know, slapping them in the face every fucking year, over and over and over again, right? Like, it's really hard. Like, most most boxing fans that are just diehards, like, they've had boxing in, the, like, in their lives. They've been involved with it somehow, either fought or dad fought or, you know, something in their life. You know, and then you have some people that just, you know, get really drawn to it, and that's fucking rare, you know, but it happens, but that's why there's not many boxing fans, you know. Uh, like, there's a lot of casual boxing fans. People always be like, yeah, I'm a boxing fan, but they don't know shit about the sport. But then you bring up the NFL, it can tell you every fucking offensive lineman for the whole AFC, you know what I mean? So they don't know shit. I mean, they don't pay attention. They only watch a big fight occasionally. Right. They like them, so technically, I guess they are fans, but they're, they don't, they're not educated, they don't really care about the sport that much, they care about one fighter, three fighters, you know, something like that, you know, um, I don't know, man, I'm, I'm, I don't know if, like, I was to Abel Ultra, shout out to him, I was talking to him, and he was asking me, have you heard anything positive, heard nothing positive, okay, uh, and, like, I was telling him, um, you know, we might not really hear any, uh, like, official confirmed news till the weekdays of next week when everybody is back in their office and working and communicating. So we might have to just, you know, wait this, this shit out till Monday. You know, maybe during the fight tonight, if we got lucky, you know... Uh, Floyd might be ringside, it's in Vegas, he might even be, you know, live interview, that would be amazing, but it ain't gonna happen, you know, because I don't even think he's in Vegas now, anyway, um, and they're, they're, you know, they're just saying so quiet, you know, and then Espinosa's trying to throw blame somewhere else, um, you know, and Espinosa's just a bullshitter, you know, that's it, Heyman could've easily been like, hey, blah, 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 blah. you know, send this text out, send this tweet out. I mean, that's the type of dude he is, you know, um, that's why, you know, you can go back and check his shit, the only shit you can ever really believe from Espinoza is when he's saying, like, a fight's announced, you know, that's the only shit that's ever really been fucking confirmed that comes out from him, you know, unless he's talking about something that's already, but when he breaks the news, it's always some bullshit, man, um, I don't know, man, I, I, it, it like, I'm the biggest fucking boxing fan, like, I'm not gonna say I'm the biggest boxing fan in the world, but, you know, I'm as big as you guys, I love this shit, uh, but, like, how much can you take, like, I'll never leave the sport, I'll always love it, but, like, even a few years ago, um, like, I, I just totally was like, you know, I'd still love boxing, like, old school boxing and shit, but the new boxing, I, I couldn't even watch it, I was getting so upset. You know, missed a lot of fights like that, too, just from being so fed up with it, you know. Uh, are they really going to do that to us in 2015? Dangle two, the two biggest fights in the world right in front of our face, and then we get none of them? You know, and then what happens after summertime? You know, all this shit's going to get brought up again, and then they're just going to dangle in front of our faces again like they've been doing for five years? I don't know, man. Boxing is... Boxing fans. Not even boxing. Just boxing fans. Get screwed and fucked over. All the time. You know, this is a perfect example of it. If, if these fuck it, if If, you know, Floyd and Pac don't pop off, you know, that... Uh, I don't know, man. I really don't. I, I, I want to say I'd fucking just quit even watching the shit, you know what I mean, but could I, no, no, I'll still always be reading the news and shit, I'll just be, you know, extremely pissed for a week or two, and that's the thing, like, well, they just figure, we'll get over it, you know, they'll hit us with these jabs, and be like, ah, oh, not even jabs, these are fucking overhand right haymakers clocking us, and they'll be like, but they'll get over it, you know, they'll get over it in a month, and then, you know, boom, a couple months down the line, there will be a huge fight on TV. It'll be all kind of fucking advertisements for it. And they'll get drawn right back in. You know, Cotto will be trained by Roach. They think he's going to beat Floyd. I'm just saying if that was the case. And then fans will buy the shit again. Yeah. 
That's what happens, right? Is this another case of that? Is that is this really gonna is this really gonna happen? Like at this moment, I know uh, whatever uh, everyone else knows. I know the same shit, and it don't look good. Uh, you know, hopefully, you know, like I said, this this week, you know, I, we don't hear something positive this week. You might as well just kiss it goodbye. You know, anyway, you know, lip. How fed up with boxing are you guys? You know? Like, honestly, are you as fed up as I am with this shit? Uh, just let me know, man. Thunder don't box. You can talk. Stay safe till next time. Peace.